Hey boys, welcome back to the channel where uh, we're going to be discussing some Rugby League Live 5 news, info, some hype, you know, the, you know, you know, we got, we got to get around it. So for those, I, I'm sure most have seen, uh, Mr. Luke made a video a bit ago now on, on sort of the, on sort of the breaking news, like uh, one of the, one of the young Tigers players put up on, I think it was TikTok, he, he, he showed, um, or maybe it was Instagram, I can't remember, but he, he had like an image of him getting basically player scanned um, into, you know, the potential new rugby league game. Now, since that, uh, he did delete the, the post. Um, and like I said, Mr. Luke made a, made a video talking about it. But just recently, um, just recently, I, I saw someone someone uh, someone messaged me saying that they they saw on the t uh, Canberra Raiders official TikTok that uh, there was there was a couple of clips there of a of a couple of other players getting getting again it's not proven but uh, it definitely looks like player scanned um, into the potential new rugby league game now basically the game is it's it's definitely confirmed it's not confirmed by true blue and uh that that's sort of the other point um of this video i've got a little bit a, a little bit more info i guess um from from ross simmons the the ceo of big ant studio so for those that don't know um just a little bit of background because I, I know it can get confusing as to like publishing and developing and, and that sort of thing so true blue they they've been the the publishers involved in all uh, yeah i'm pretty sure all rugby league games since like rugby league like the the original rugby league game on on ps2 and stuff so they've been the publishers involved with all of those games um originally it was it was sid sid entertainment who made rugby league rugby league 2 and then rugby league 3 for the wii which is still one of the one of the greatest rugby league games of all time uh but that's that's a that's a whole nother video um and then began studios took over the rugby league develop development and they started making the rugby league live series so they made obviously one two three and four um now recently began studios has uh well no unfortunate for some unfortunate fortunate for others but they they departed true blue they they sort of went on their own and they started they started basically making and publishing their own games because of the basically because of the popularity of cricket uh their cricket games like they were doing some great work on on cricket and yeah they 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 sort of split off from true blue now i, I don't know the details as to as to who sort of started that um you know who wanted to leave who didn't uh, who knows but uh regardless big Ant studios um they 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 went off on their own and true blue they they've still been the guys in charge of the rugby league live ip so at the at the at the present time we don't know who is going to be making the next rugby league game but True Blue is definitely going to be the guys that are publishing it. They just haven't released the the details. So, a little bit of info um, that I got off Twitter of all places. You know, you get a lot of a lot of good good stuff off Twitter. But actually, I tweeted at Ross because I was actually curious um, to see what he thought. So I basically said, I was like, "Hey guys, now that uh, now that you aren't with True Blue any anymore." Is there a chance on continuing to make rugby league games independently? Uh, because you know they did it with cricket. They sort of went off the, on their own. You know, starting well before they went off on their own, they had the Don Bradman 14. Um, but they made that basically by themselves. They didn't have any licensing. Um, they just had the academy where people could make players and teams. Um, so I just posed the question because I was like, you know, it'd be awesome if they could do that. And then, you know, if True Blue also got into the ring with, with Rugby League, <laughs> you could have like two games, which would be beautiful. Uh, but he replied, wish we could. There was meant to be one for the past three years. Apparently this year for sure. So again, this is, this is not from True Blue. This is not from the de the guys that are developing it but it's from ross simmons who is the ceo of big ant studios and he is obviously he knows the industry he knows everyone in the in the industry on, on in in terms of that so 
the fact he says apparently this year for sure and the fact he's oh it's so disappointing he said <laughs> he says it was meant to be one for the past three years which um is is mighty disappointing i i and the re you might be like why the hell hasn't there been and obviously it's because of covid uh obviously it's affected uh the development which is disappointing to say the least <laughs> um but yeah, so that, that's, that's a little bit of, a little bit of further details on potentially this year. So I, there's definitely the thought that maybe they would wait for next year with the Dolphins to come in. But I think this game has clearly been in development for a long time. And I, I just want to say straight off that that doesn't mean that the game is going to be like the best game of all time that they've been working on it non-stop for three four years no that's not the case it's just the fact that they've obviously had to delay postpone and it's just it just dragged on and on and on for three years so um i don't imagine that they would push it back even further i don't know but we'll see ross I, i'm not i'm not saying he knows 100%, but I think he would have a fairly good idea. So, with with the new, with the you know, with the screens uh, on TikTok and stuff of the the players and and uh, even the Canberra Raiders official page showing that uh, they're getting the the player scans in into the into the system. Uh, with the fact Ross has said that uh, apparently this year for sure, uh, there's there's some good signs. There's some good signs going forward. So, I'll, you know, just keeping you guys up to date. I always I always love to talk about the hype. I mean, I still remember the good old days of, of Rugby League Live Three, man. Like they they were the good days. Um, going through every every little detail uh, in the lead up. So, hopefully, we can start to get some actual clarification. True Blue have notoriously been um, just. <laughs> they, they don't like to announce things at all they don't like to give us any details but hopefully they can they can just give us a little sneak they can give us some sort of a little breadcrumb to <laughs> to nibble on dude uh but yeah good good signs for the potential game i think undoubtedly we'll get a game next year at the very least i i'm expecting there to be a game this year but i think next year without doubt there will be a rugby league game so we might have to wait a bit longer, but there is a game coming, so we can get uh, we can get somewhat excited. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, I, I like I said, I love doing these type of videos. Any any uh, any any new details, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely be keeping you guys up to date. And uh, I know Mr. Luke is as well. So you know, it feels like it feels like the rugby league stuff is starting to it's starting to heat up again, which is nice. So <laughs> make sure to make sure to like and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.